Welcome to the XTNG channel. Today, we'll be conducting a performance test on the XTNG Gene 3 Plus 38 version. As always, all testing will be carried out on this 2017 Yamaha YZ250XC with the exact same setup as when we tested the Gene 3 Plus 36 version. For this test, we'll be focusing on low RPM torque performance on a 30 sloped trail. We'll test using both 1S and 2 in gears to see how low the RPMs can drop while maintaining power. This is a critical factor for torque performance when riding through wooded trails. For this test, we're using the multi-circuit fuel mode. The metering rod code is SK with 110 clicks. We highly recommend the multi-circuit mode because it allows for precise tuning of both low-end and top-end performance. Now, let's get started. One ST, no clutch throughout the test. The front wheel lifts off the ground effortlessly, torque is excellent. Let's keep an eye on the tachometer. Twelve hundred. The top end power is also extremely strong. In this test, the lowest RPM we achieved was twelve hundred, showing excellent low end torque. That said, Compared to the Gene 3 Plus 36 version, the 36 version felt a bit more compact in terms of low-end performance in 1S gear. Here are the bike's specs. The engine uses an OEM cylinder and cylinder head, with a total runtime of 17 hours. OEM CDI, 13 tooth front sprocket and 50 tooth rear sprocket. We're using low flashpoint Motul 710 full synthetic two-stroke oil. The fuel is 92 octane unleaded ethanol-free gasoline. The fuel to oil ratio is 51. Gear one, no clutch needed throughout the test. Let's keep an eye on the tachometer and try to avoid stalling the engine. Fifteen hundred. Twelve hundred. I deliberately kept the engine at a very low RPM, but it stalled at twelve hundred RPM. This time, we can barely call 1200 RPM our lowest threshold. Now, let's move on to the second gear test. Gear 
Gear 2, again. No clutch needed throughout the test. <laughs> the front wheel seems to have a hard time lifting off the ground. Let's keep an eye on the tachometer. Eighteen hundred. One thousand seven hundred forty. Oh, the engine stalled at one thousand five hundred sixty RPM. Gear one still stalls below twelve hundred RPM. The top end performance is truly impressive, so powerful. In this test, we observed, in gear 1, the lowest RPM barely held at 1200. 2 in gear, the ERPM must stay at a minimum of 2040, otherwise the engine will stall. Overall, the torque performance is pretty solid. However, I have to admit that the 36 version has a tighter, better, low-end performance while the 38 version delivers much stronger and more impressive top-end performance. No matter if it's gear 1 or 2, the power band is controllable and linear overall. It feels almost like a four-stroke engine. Next, we'll test its fuel efficiency. Which version to choose depends on your riding style. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.